Hi, my name is Sarah Hess and I'm applying for the FRP International Rotation. Since coming on at Cisco, I've noticed one thing that we love is our acronyms. So to show you why I should be accepted into the international program, I'm going to use some of those common acronyms with a little bit of a twist. First acronym I want to change up is CFO. It now stands for Collaborative Finance Driven Opportunity Taker. Collaborative in that I enjoy and can work well with others. Whether it was in my role in payroll or my role in sales and service finance, I've had to talk to other people in my team as well as across teams to be able to figure out what was going on in a reconciliation, to figure out what was going on in a deal, and to solve the problem quickly. For finance driven in my roles in CCG under accounting operations in sales and service finance and commercial finance, I've gotten to see a wide breadth of what Cisco has to offer in the finance industry. In my role in CCG, I was working a lot with reconciliations and also journal entries. And now in sales and service finance, I'm in a totally different role working with my deal manager daily, as well as trying to figure out what different deals are going on and doing different reporting for sales teams. For Opportunity Taker, I've taken the opportunities that FRP has to offer. I love going to brown bags. I enjoy going to service events with the team. I also work on the, or the engagement committee that we have for FRP, as well as I'm the intern lead and new hire onboarding lead for RTP. The next acronym I want to shake up is FRP. It now stands for Friendly, Real, and Positive. Friendly because I've gotten along with all the people that I work with in RTP, whether it be in the FRP program or outside of the FRP program in my team. This is really important going abroad because you're going to meet a lot of different people and you need to be able to be accessible to them and also be able to communicate for them, with them. For real, if something's wrong on a reconciliation or if something's wrong in a deal, I'll tell someone what's going on and give them the facts instead of saying, oh, it might be this or it might be that. Um, and we'll have a communication about that and figure out which is the best way to resolve the issue. For the P, it's positivity. I've always considered myself to be a pretty positive person, but that especially shined through my role in CCG in payroll accounting. Our team started with five people on it and three months into the job had three people on it both myself and another woman on the team being there for under four months. We all had to work together and take on tasks that we didn't necessarily know how to do. We were working longer hours, but instead of complaining about it, we all worked together, kept a positive attitude, and were able to come out on top in the end. The final acronym I'm going to use is a classic finance mantra, get stuff done. And I'm not changing that up one bit because it's important whether you're abroad or here or in San Jose to always get stuff done. In both my roles, I've had to have this attitude. In my payroll accounting role, there were accounts that I had that had over six months reconciling items on them. I had to work with different teams, different people on my team, and the old FRP to be able to clear those items. And by the time I left the role, that entire account had no reconciling items on it. In my current role in sales and service finance, I have to work hard to get things done, especially when it comes time to end of quarter reporting. I'm working deals as well as having to put together large reports for a number of people. So I have to be able to balance my time as well as get the reports and get the deals in on time. So when thinking about why I should go abroad, it's CFO, FRP, and GSD. CFO for collaborative, finance driven, and opportunity taker. FRP for friendly, real, and positive, and GSD for get stuff done. Thank you for your time.